Hi, and welcome to week 23 of World History 2. So, for this week, um, we're going to be exploring the intricate forces that shaped Africa and China in the early 1800s, the European scramble for Africa, African resistance to imperialism, and the attempts by westernizers and reformers to influence China. So, Um, we're going to begin, uh, in the early 1800s. So Africa was undergoing significant changes, internal factors like the rise of powerful states, such as the Sokoto Caliphate and the Zulu Kingdom, along with external factors like increased trade with Europe and the Arab world contributed to this transformation. These forces reshaped political, social, and economic landscapes across the continent. Now, as European powers sought to expand their empires and access Africa's abundant resources, they engaged in a process known as the Scramble for Africa. Through diplomatic negotiations, military conquests, and treaties, European nations carved up Africa into colonies and spheres of influence. The Berlin Conference of 1884 formalized this partition, disregarding African sovereignty or the right to self-rule, and leading to lasting geopolitical consequences. Now, despite European colonization efforts, African resistance to imperialism persisted. Uh, leaders like Ethiopia's emperor, Menelik II, and the Mahdist movement in Sudan fiercely resisted European encroachment often employing military tactics and diplomatic maneuvers to defend their sovereignty. Additionally, uh, resistance movements like the Mao Mao uprising in Kenya and the Boxer Rebellion in China exemplified the resilience of indigenous peoples against foreign domination. We will be, of course, discussing China next. So, in China, Western powers sought to gain trade rights and access to lucrative markets through diplomatic and military means. Westernizers like the British East India Company and later European nations, including Britain, France, and Germany, pressured China to open its ports and allow unrestricted trade. These efforts culminated in the Opium Wars, which resulted in humiliating defeats for China and forced concessions to Western powers. Now, amidst internal turmoil and external pressure, Chinese reformers emerged. Uh, Chinese reformers emerged, advocating for modernization and institutional reforms to strengthen China's position on the world stage. They implemented measures aiming at modernizing China's military, their education system, and their government bureaucracy. However, their efforts were met with resistance from conservative elements within the Qing dynasty, ultimately leading to the failure of what is known as the Hundred Days Reform. So this will be it for this week as we explore Africa and China in the early 1800s. We're going to see some of the forces that shaped these regions from European imperialism to indigenous resistance and efforts of modernization. So I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.